So everybody's talking about it. Um, I just did a, a Facebook Live with about 14,000 people. And we had such a positive response that I'm actually gonna do a quick three to five minute video on what you can do to protect yourself from the coronavirus. First of all, I find that um, people fit into one of two categories. Um, they know that there's a war coming, right? The enemy is coming. This virus is coming for us, right? Estimates are between 40 and 70% of the globe of the world's population will come in contact with this virus. So do you think your strategy should be, I'm gonna hide and hope the virus doesn't find me. Because that's your strategy if you're staying out of public places, if you're not traveling on airplanes, if you're not going to public areas and you're disinfecting everything. You are hoping that the enemy doesn't find you. But what happens when the enemy does? You see, I think we should take the other side of the coin and we should prepare for the virus to find us. We should assume that the virus is going to come in contact with us because it's a single toxicity dose that's required through the mucosal membrane for you to get the virus. We should assume that the virus is gonna come in contact with us and we should prepare. And how can you prepare? Well, you prepare like you prepare for any fight, right? You can have a knife, you can have a gun, you can have a bazooka. I'm gonna tell you how you can have a bazooka inside your body when the virus comes for you. So the coronavirus, um, is like any other virus. Uh, you know, once it gets into the body, although it, it did morph from animals, uh, very similar to um, SARS and MERS, the Middle Eastern Respiratory Virus, these are viruses that started in animals and then they jumped their way into human beings. And so it spread very quickly before we got a chance to really catch up to it. And who are the people that are the most susceptible to this virus are people that have compromised immune systems. So if you're gonna weapon up the best weapon to arm yourself with is your own immune system. So what can you do for your immune system today in order to be prepared to encounter this virus tomorrow? The first thing you can do is you can arm the strongest immune source in the human body. Does anyone know where 70% to 80% of our entire immune function comes from? 70 to 80% of our immune function comes from the gut. That's right, our gut is responsible for 70 to 80% of our total immune response. So if I'm going to arm my gut for this fight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a good probiotic. But, and I don't just want any probiotic. I want a probiotic because, you see, if I look at the intestinal tract, okay, and you have mouth up here, let me make this a little smaller, um, and your tail, we all know what that is down here, okay? And this is your, um, and this is your digestive tract, all right? inside here. Well, from the time that I travel from my mouth to my gut, the pH of my gut changes as I go from front to back. In other words, as I start in my mouth and I get down into the stomach, I get in a very high acid environment. The pH becomes more alkaline as I transcend through the colon. The problem with most probiotics is that they are destroyed by the stomach acids when you eat them. So you need a probiotic that has a capsular technology that is pH release. Now, at the end of this video, I am going to give you supplements that you can buy, but the purpose of this video is not to sell you supplements. The, there are plenty of good places to go on Amazon. I'm just going to tell you how to tell the difference between a high quality supplement that will protect you and a waste of money, which you would be just as good chewing an ice cube. So you need pH release. In other words, you want that um, capsule to survive the stomach acid and you want it to begin to distribute the probiotics throughout the gut, lactobacillus, acidophilus, the bifidobacteria, because that is going to arm our immune system with the first line of defense, a good probiotic. The second thing that we can do is we can go to our, um, the, the rest of our defense, our um, omega fatty acids and our vitamin D3s. So the second one is we can take a D3, K2, vitamin A supplement. Now why these specific ingredients? Remember that the human body only manufactures a single vitamin. Human beings can only make one vitamin. We make it from sunlight and cholesterol. The truth is 85% of the world's population is clinically deficient in this vitamin and 50% of people have a deficiency that is so severe that it actually causes clinical symptoms. Vitamin D3 is the sunshine vitamin, cholecalciferol, the only vitamin a human being can make. So if we only have the capacity to make one vitamin, how important do you think vitamin D3 is to our optimal function? 
So D3, um, because it also functions as a calcium transport molecule, you need to have the vitamin K2 to help the calcium deposit into the bone and not into the arterial wall. And the combination of vitamin A, K2, and D3 as your second line of defense in bolstering your immune system is an unstoppable combination. You want minimum of 5,000 IUs of vitamin D3 and 100 micrograms of K2, okay? That's what you want. Um, and then you also want uh, the vitamin A. So we're gonna get a probiotic, we're gonna get a vitamin D3 or K2, and the third thing that we need, believe it or not, is an omega three and six fatty acid combination. Preferably one that comes from the green lipped muscle. Yes, the green lipped muscle. If you have a shellfish allergy, you cannot use this version of the omega-3 uh, and 6 fatty acid, but if you do not have a shellfish allergy, you need to find a good, um, uh, sorry, good uh, omega fatty acid supplement that is from the green lift muscle. I actually was just reading some very interesting research in the Journal of Molecular Sciences. Um, this research was actually done uh, very recently. This is 2019, by the way. This is when this was published. So this is very recent research. You know, um, killer T cells are part of our first line of immune defense. And, you know, it talks in here about um, uh, how the immune system is a defense system that protects organisms from invading pathogens, such as viruses or bacteria. And then later, it will go on to really look at um, why these uh, T cells are so important for immune function and specifically why the omega fatty acids help bolster these guys. So see, um, the adaptive immune system, uh, the T cells, okay, they have a higher level of spe uh, specificity and they can actually protect you from um, a second encounter with the virus. You see, chances are if you actually get this virus, that you will get the virus again. Yes, when the virus gets into you, that's called a lytic phase, when it's active in your body. Then it can go into a latent phase. It can go to sleep and it can wake up later. That's why you might have had mononucleosis when you were a kid, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12 years old, and then you get it again, this Epstein-Barr virus, when you're an adult, because the virus goes into a, a dormant phase called the latent phase, and then it has a lytic phase when it wakes up. So just to kind of wrap all this up, because I don't want to belabor the point, if you, if you do want uh, me to send you the research. I'm going to include a link at the bottom of this video. I'm also going to include my personal email. You can email me at gary at streamlinedmedicalgroup.com and I will send you all of this research. Um, if you want to buy the supplements that I found that I'm recommending, they're from Common Sense. I have a, a discount code um, that, uh, that you can use. Um, I think they're 90 bucks. You're going to get them for $69.95, but you do not have to buy those, but you really should um, follow uh, the outline that I gave you for finding a good product online. And here's the other thing that I'll, um, I'll offer you. Here it is. Let me just wrap it all up real quick. So how do we protect ourselves from the coronavirus? Here's the three things that you can do. Probiotic. Okay? Probiotic. You want uh, pH release. If it does not have that, uh, you might as well suck on an ice cube because you can put 30 billion bacteria into stomach acid and maybe 2 billion bacteria are gonna make it out. So the first thing you can do to bolster your immune system is bolster your gut. The second thing you can do is you can take a good omega-3, six fatty acid supplement, preferably one that comes from the green lift muscle. And the third thing you can do is find yourself a good D3, K2, vitamin A supplement. These three in conjunction are going to make your immune system bulletproof. So when the enemy comes, you'll be ready for the fight. It's just science.